Good day all. Today we are going to be doing a compression test on a BMW 330EB48 hybrid. A compression test is essentially a good indication of the condition of the engine valves, valve seats, piston, piston rings, etc. Reasons for compression tests. The car was initially getting a rough idle, which was barely noticeable. When driving, no issues, no smoke. For these symptoms, typical causes include faulty spark plugs, ignition coils, injectors, poor fuel, or even damages to the engine, including piston valves, etc. Some cars do not get any check engine light or faults, while others get the irregular idle fault, 21A02D. Basically, we are going to be removing the ignition coils, spark plugs, disconnecting the connectors from the ignition coils and injectors. You can skip to 135 for the compression test if you are familiar with the removal of these. And now we are going to be removing the engine cover, followed by the right and left engine compartment covers. Next step is remove these. You can see the bolts to remove. Let's do it for the strap bar. Move in these so nothing could hold. Keep here. Open this. Next step will be to unbolt these. Right. This could actually come out one time as well. So to take out this truck bar, you need a E18 as well as a 16 millimeter for my car at least. This line will usually be here. That is usually for boost reference for the metal injection kit. Right.
Next step will be removing these. Side, so a total of six. Right. Um, right. That's about it. Step would be to remove the ignition coils. You could remove the jacks first, and then you would require E8 socket to remove the screws. Then you're gonna be pulling out the coil packs. After pulling out the coil packs, you would require a spark plug socket, a 10 volt deep spark plug socket, which is a 12.14 millimeter, and then you could remove the spark plugs. It's a good idea to put a cloth to uncover the holes because you don't want anything going into the engine and bear in mind the order you take out your spark plugs so you can analyze each one of the plugs and make sure everything is firing properly. Next step gonna be to remove the nut followed by disconnecting all the connectors for the injectors. Yeah, go again. Two hundred. Yeah, go ahead. All right, our next round. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Cylinder tree now. Uh, one seventy five. Yeah, go again. Yeah, get a second crown. BMW recommends for the compression test a compression pressure of 8 bar or 116 psi and consistency across all the cylinders. About plus or minus 10 psi difference between the cylinders are considered acceptable. Here are the following results we obtain. You can see cylinder 4 failed the compression test. A wet test was done on cylinder 4. The wet test was done by squirting a little bit of oil, about 1 teaspoon, into the plug hole and retesting the compression. The compression reader jumped to 150 psi, which indicates uh, piston or piston ring damage. If the reading did not jump, it would have indicated more towards like a valve issue. Additional tests can be done 
for leak down tests um, to confirm but at this stage we already know we have to pull the head for repairs thank you all for watching and stay tuned we'll be actually doing a do it yourself for the engine rebuild and you will actually see what we find